And there we go. Go on, Mitch. Please tell us where we were. <laughs> All right. So it's been a hot minute, but here's what I remember. Uh, we, in fact, be goblins. Uh, and so uh, we are now let out of the children cages and allowed to become real goblins and functioning members of society. Uh, and like any good goblin, we did some uh, varying tests of goblinness to prove our worth, such as hurting yourself in a funny way, uh, insulting someone, and catching a uh, some kind of animal. Worms. Forgot exactly what. You had, you had to eat worms and Connor. Fell. Oh yeah. Actually, no. Yeah. You had to. You had to not eat the worms and Connor just ate all the worms. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, then we went to go find uh, toads so that we could lick the toads and trip balls. Yeah. Uh, we beat up this one other goblin who was kind of an asshole. Uh, got to see the weird thing that we deified. That was totally not just. I don't know, some raccoons in a dead body or something? <laughs> totally. Uh, yeah, yeah, and then we committed a brutal murder against someone who was totally just a loving mother and potion saleswoman. No, she was not loving. Oh, okay. No, we didn't know that. That's true, you didn't know that, but also she I mean, was kind We don't of know happy. anything about her. Yeah. Uh, other than we just grabbed a bunch of her shit after we stabbed her to death. You also killed yep. a mule. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Um, Mule. <laughs> yeah, and of course, longer. John only feels sorry about the mule. <laughs> okay. Uh, and now we are, uh, er, because we did find evidence that humans were, I think, coming to kill us at some point. No. Oh. We just found evidence well, that they exist near us. Oh yeah, and that's that's enough of a reason. This is honestly very much in character in terms of a recap. Like, yeah, yeah, I'll, really I'll go with that. I don't really remember. I think they threatened us, so we have to kick their ass. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> no. Um, Listen, all I know is we're at this uh, nice country farmhouse. Uh, there's probably yeah. a wedding going on, yes, and we need uh, to kill someone. Essentially, after you, <laughs> after you killed that more or less innocent uh, potion merchant, <laughs> potion seller. Uh, after you killed her, you found an invitation for the for a wedding on this farm. Right, that's and what And you brought it to your elders, and your elders decided, this can't stand, we're going to raid the farm. Because, just because, I guess. Yeah. I don't know, they have, they have stuff and we could steal it. Exactly. So, you're, you are, as the newest full-fledged members of uh, Tribe... Cl is it clan or tribe? I think it's tribe. Tribe Licktoad were tasked with doing your first raid on the humans and assorted other races that may or may not be there. I'm sure I think those two are halflings. They definitely look it. So, anyway, also the farm is called Pedalfoot Farm. Not that it matters. I mean, that's a halfling name if I ever heard one. Kind yep. is. So, anyway, yeah. You marched about three miles through the marsh, through uh, hills and a bit of forest land, and you arrived at the farm. Uh, let me just see. Ah, there it is. The book actually has a description. All right. The light forest and overgrown field give way to a rundown little farm bustling with activity. Colorful paper and cloth hang from the barn and house, and tables loaded with food and drink are scattered around the yard. You can see that, actually. In the center of it all stands a cake that rises nearly two goblins tall and drips with icing and custard. What? Ooh. I'm not, honestly, I'm not entirely sure where that cake is supposed to be on this picture. So, Me you know, neither. I think it's this thing. It might be. So, yeah, anyway. <laughs> Let's say it's that thing. It's that thing. Uh, a few Which slices thing? have already been removed, revealing an interior that looks moist and delicious. Ooh. What? Now, uh, in terms of like characters that you can interact with, these are the tokens, right? But there are more people there. There are numerous halflings 
attending the wedding of... Um, actually, you, no, you would know their names. Uh, this is Winius Paddlefoot and Velma... Velma... Velma Paddlefoot. I guess they already took their names. Okay. Would seem it. I don't know enough about halflings. So to, to tell you if this is normal or not. And also, you're goblins. You don't give a shit. Exactly. Anyway, there are numerous halflings uh, waiting for the wedding. Like, spread around this place. And in the nearby houses, probably, you hear voices. You hear laughter. You hear, like, bad music. Halfling music. So, bad music. There's one. There are... Wait, can you see that? Actually... No. You see one human. Uh, eye patch. Looks like he's scarred up a bit. Like you're, you're quintessential mercenary. You've never seen one. Seeing how you just got out of your cage basically this morning and all that. But, we are whelps. but you got told stories about humans who just work for coin and will gladly cut up any goblin that stands in their way. So, you know, you don't like him. In bed. You can also see as he moves around that he... Wait, let me just... I have to remember that I have to do the DM thing on a different browser window. You see him walk around and go into the barn. After looking particularly annoyed with the two halflings down there talking about their upcoming wedding and how much they love each other and, you know, they're smooching and they're kissing and, ugh. Eesh. Gross. Very gross. So anyway, how you want to start this raid is up to you. There are multiple buildings here. You can see an outhouse up in the north. There's a big, like, uh, like, well, a farmhouse with living quarters also up north. There's a little boat storage area on the right. And there's a barn on the left side, which you can't really see inside, but you hear animal noises come out of it. Ooh. Chuffy likes animals. So, yeah. So that, uh, so that thing that the uh, mercenary just walked into is a barn. That's the barn. Okay. Mm. The big Duffy. man went into the barn. Mogmerds say we burn barn. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. Make fire. Pretty, pretty fire. Ouch fire. Funny ouch light make, uh, make big man go sizzle. <laughs> time to burn, time to burn. Time to burn, time to burn. All animals uh, in will be cooked nicely. Yum, yum. Mm, good meats, good meats. <clears throat> so I guess we roll stealth and start trying to sneak on over. Yep. All right. The tramp burn the barn. Also, by the way, can I just give you a, a background detail about this in the text here? Sure. Okay. The Paddlefoot's youngest son, an uneducated leg breaker named Vinius, is finally settling down with his equally dim-witted and violent love, Velma. No. All right. That's that's them. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. The, <laughs> I guess not even the book likes halflings. Oop. So. Oop. Chuffy fucking falls out. <laughs> oh no! Oh my God. <laughs> Chuffy falls the fuck out of the tree. <sighs> Well, let's see if I fuck this up. Well, I don't. Holy shit. Okay. At least one of us is competent. Okay. Um, Chuffy. Chuffy, mm -hmm. would you also roll for your two guys there? Oh, I can, right. I um, can give you their stats. Yes, please. What is their stealth? Uh, their stealth is... Wait, they have goblin stats. Uh... Yeah, so they probably have decently good stealth because they're small. They they're small, they're goblin. 
I just have to see where they were. I think they were in the book. No, I have to look in the in the book real quick. Give me a moment. No. They're in the bestiary, because they're, you know, monsters. Uh, I'm gonna say plus 12. Let's see who's right. Let's see. Garalon, Noel, Goblin. Uh, plus 10. Alrighty. Mm. I forgot we have main character stats. You have an actual level instead of CR rating, yes. Right. You Main know, character before stats. I the, before I roll the, uh, the stealth, I want to roll whether they actually whether they actually do a thing or just stand and cheer for me. Oh, Facebook. right. Actually, I have to roll that, I think. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, right. These guys are dumbasses. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a two, and that's a three. Let me just... Really quick, look up the psychophant thing again. Because <laughs> yeah, you, I totally forgot they're morons. They are morons. Uh, what was it? Also, I'm gonna say for uh, for the sake of all of our sanity, <laughs> yours and mine, stinky. Let's just roll once for both of them as if they think with the same brain because i'm fairly certain they share a brain chill fair anyway. enough they're your followers now uh, yeah also they will behave normally they're Ooh, nice like, on, only on a one will they like go stupid okay hey they both got a 19 for stealth all right so we just look at their do I have their passive perception somewhere? Oh yeah, you make it. It's fine. Noise. You all make it except Mitch. Um, okay, so. <laughs> you get ready to uh, sneak out of the tree in true goblin fashion, like close to the ground, hiding in what's left there of tall grass behind furniture and all that. Yeah. You, uh, Sign each other little hand signs that only your goblin tribe knows. Like, kind of like uh, at a football game where you make like signs, like you go there, you go there, that stuff. Yeah. As uh, as mock merch, you were mock merch, right, Mitch? Yes. Okay. <laughs> mock merch, no aim. Yeah, ex exactly. You make these signs and you all nod to each other in a very serious way because this is your first raid. And then Mock Merch stands up, hits his head on a branch above him, and falls out of the tree to the ground with a loud thud. Oh no. All of you see him go down. Mock Merch, okay! <laughs> all, of you, <laughs> all of you just follow with your heads as he goes down. Just. Yeah, it's, you know, it's about right. But remember, I take less fall damage because I bounce. <laughs> I don't think you're high enough to do take fall damage in this. Yeah, fair enough. Regard, you you just land awkwardly, like in the ground, like. Pfft. Uh. merch, okay. I want you to roll me a d100 as a luck check. Chaffy don't care. I don't know if that's good or not. That's good. Good enough. Okay. Yeah, because I know I have uh, some alchemist fire and some bottles <laughs> of uh, grain alcohol. You see, you see, Vinius and Vinius, Vinius and Velma look over to you as they hear uh, that weird thud sound, but they don't appear to see anything. You're still hidden in the grass, and you're kind of green yourself, so. It's fine. Your nose bleeds, though. So anyway, the uh, the two halflings go back to smooching each other. He's okay. Mog merch green like grass. <laughs> halflings. That happened sooner than I expected it to. 
Meanwhile, all the others, I would assume, climb down the tree in a normal way. Yep. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right, so you're stealthed. If you stay in the grass and behind furniture, you should be able to make your way over to the barn without any issues. Yes. Jeffy will do, will do just that. Mogmerge will Don't forget your follow. two guys. Oh, right. I mean, you don't have to take him. It's fine. No, they're my two guys. They go where I go. Yeah. I'm just saying, you could, ah. you could tell them to do something different. <laughs> also, yeah, you actually have, like, a cone of vision. Yeah. Exactly. And I can use my two guys to, to look behind myself <laughs> just to keep track of where everybody else is. All right. I think you see Corporal there. Yeah. Yep. I'm just going to use yep. his name because it's not like you will ask him, right? Nope. Uh, you see Corporal uh, smoking something. Like he's he's sitting on the ground. Oh, there you go. He's sitting on the ground, uh, leaning against one of the stable doors, just smoking something, uh, hand rolled, with a very distinct smell that you wouldn't really know, unless like I mean, one of you is an alchemist. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I play one on TV, but yes. <laughs> you may know about this. Uh, can you roll me like a? I don't know. Do you have a knowledge or something like nature or? or I do actually have knowledge. I do have knowledge nature. Yeah, that or perception. It's just. I'm going with knowledge nature because it's a better stat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Smart. Yeah. Mock merch cleaning his nose of the blood and smelling a bit recognizes the scent as flay leaf, which is essentially weed. Ah, nice. So, you don't know the name for it that the humans use or the halflings, but you know that smoking this stuff or even ingesting it will make you go a bit woozy. You're getting slower. You know, you're not at your your height of like combat ability. Perfect. You all smells that? The big man is smoking the slow grass. Slow grass make him slow is perfect. Yes. Okay. Never okay. see a thing coming. Are there doors on the bar? Uh, no. Windows, how about? No. No, there are two big barn doors on either side, but no windows. I forgot the... I forgot the mock merch no aim. <laughs> yeah. <I'm sorry>. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We close doors. And then we set on fire. So who man can't run from burning building? Yeah? 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 Yes, 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 yes. 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 Okay. 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 Pog, keep lookout. Cattle. Cattle, Chuffy. No aim. You go for back doors. Remty, Kulgik, you go for front door. Yes. Go to back door. I scream if they come. Yes. Yes, yes. Uh, have burny things can start fire. <laughs> uh, we did get torches, so... Uh... Uh, I also have bottles of grain alcohol and alchemist fire. Yeah. Hell yeah. Or I will uh, hand you a bottle of grain alcohol. Have the fire juice. Burn ah! real good. Juice Burn drink. real good. Drink Pog it. begins throwing, stop throwing uh, grain alcohol on the wall. Likes a torch. Yeah. Jeffy will, uh, will moment, see him doing it and do the same. The moment, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to select the thing on the map and it doesn't let me. There we go. Yeah. Uh, Mog Merge will be sneaking around here. Yeah, Mog Merge. Wait a moment. Yes. Oh, okay. Wait a moment. Uh, we're going to what Connor did in a moment. But first, as you uh, move around that corner, you see something around, like coming around. Oh. That's a, uh, that's oh no, a, cheap. A, no, that's a pig. It's, it's a pig. Oh. I know that that sprite is not the best. <laughs> I picked one of the free ones. Whatever. I pick him. The pigs, the, it's, a little, it's a little piglet. It's very small. Probably only like a few 
uh, uh, lack of pig knowledge. Days, weeks. I don't know how quick pigs grow. Uh, it's very I don't know young. how. It's a very young piglet. It doesn't seem to show any sort of fear towards you. More like curiosity. As okay, it, I will. As it approaches, you know, you. Like it would well, anything that sparks curiosity. Squeak, squeak. Yeah, I will uh, see this pig. Uh, Mog Merch likely knows uh, pigs are good eatins. Mm -hmm. I mean, even better eatins than most things. That's yep. true. Uh, while I do not have handle animal, I will try to just kind of, you know, lead it along into the barn real quick. Okay. I would, I can go and roll handle animal. It's, uh, charisma, do... right? Uh, yeah. Okay, this won't be the best, but... Huh. Well, you were right. It wasn't the best. <laughs> it wasn't entirely the worst. The pig has no clue what you want to do. Yeah, uh, I what imagine I'm actually... just trying to push the pig a little bit. <laughs> like when, no, like on a, on a one. Actually, no, no. Who am I kidding? I'm grabbing it on, uh, by the ear and trying to uh, pull it. The pig is... I'm not exactly fighting against that, but it's also not doing anything. Are you kidding me? It's a pig. If it uh, if someone grabbed it and pulled it by the ear, it would scream and run. I didn't say it was a smart pig. Come on, oink oink. Into the, barn. The pig, weirdly enough, seems to take a liking to you. It just tries to get closer and like. How? <laughs> it just does. Important question. Yeah. Uh, you said this was a very small pig. It's a piglet, yes. Very young. Very young. Do you think, uh, it could support goblin weight? That's Baby good... goblin weight? That's a good yes. question. Yes, small goblin weight? That's a good question, maybe? You would have to try. Hmm. You would have to give me, like, I... Actually, what? Animal handling? A right check? Absolutely. I mean, yeah, right is a, a skill. Check. Try a right and I believe, I believe that ride is dex based, but it's also yeah. Uh, you can only get up to ten if you don't have skills in it yeah. or ranks yeah. in it. Yeah, you'd have to do you would have to do it untrained. But yeah, yeah. Try it. Uh, actually, no, no. Mogmerch is the smart one, or so he <laughs> claims, and will first at least uh close or. Er, Slide the barn doors closed as slowly as he can. Okay. Uh... I'll roll stealth for this. Okay. Uh, come on, roll good. Holy Damn. Shit. Damn. Mogmerch. Damn. Mogmerch in a James Bond ass suave movement just leans on the door and slides it close with one smooth motion and leans against it. The door is closed. Uh, let me just... I can probably put a line there. There. Oh, no, wait, that's... Uh, uh, no, it's on the token there. I don't think you can see that one. Hmm. I can see the line, it just doesn't oh, there it change is. shadow. No, it's not a shadow line. I just, you know... I don't want to go... Yeah, whatever. I don't want to update the shadow layer in real time. It's weird about that. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, the door is closed and incredibly silent at that. No one noticed. Mm-hmm. I just uh, also I just realized I made the barn door a sliding door for some reason. Fine, whatever. It works. <laughs> it's not like little wheels. We're good. Yeah. <laughs> uh but now Mog Merch will uh with his new friend. Uh, who's probably following me, I assume. Oh, yeah. Actually, I can give you control over it. Hell yeah. Controlled by Mitchell. Noise. G give me that pig. It actually has a name. There you go. 
Squealy Nord? I... That's a sick name. I didn't look. It's. I didn't put the. Na I didn't choose the names. Yeah, it's a normal token. If you hold down Alt, you can move it be like between squares. Squares, but anyway, yeah. uh, really quick, Pook. Connor. Ah. Ah! Pook, you th you threw like a, a firebomb at the barn. No, I was no? throwing grain alcohol onto the wall and had a ah. torch lit ready. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah. okay. I, I thought you were making like a Molotov, which would have been cool as fuck. Just saying. No, no, I already uh, have alchemist fires. Yeah, fair enough. I'm making, I'm making a Molotov with extra steps because I'm an yep. idiot. <laughs> That's and he's uh, making gonna, it outside of the thing. bottle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. At least, so, yeah, these two chuggle fucks are going to try and slide the front barn door closed. And I'm going to roll some stealth for that. Hey, not bad. Nobody will notice them. Perfect. That's like far beyond the passive perception of everyone there. Um, can you give Squealy Nord like a small amount of uh, vision? So oh, I don't lose um, him? Right. Sorry. Uh, problem is I can't... Like, uh, can you turn uh, around? Okay, so... No, can you turn around so I can see if he has vision? Yeah, there we go. Um, uh, he doesn't, is the thing. I, I know, I know, I know. It's uh... so, There you go. Yay. He has full vision. Please don't abuse it. <laughs> he doesn't have a field of vision, because... Hmm. You think you can make... Do you actually think that it would be possible to... I know there are two different kinds of vision. Maybe you can make the first one... Um round and the second one a cone i don't think i can actually Damn. no i can't Damn. not a thing because the vision thing changed quite a bit since i last used it so i don't want to yeah i want to risk breaking anything it already broke once when i made the map <laughs> Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, like it sounds like it's probably something you could do, but also something I don't know how to do. Let's not mm -hmm. risk it right now, not in the middle of a game, okay? Yeah. You know. Anyway. In other words, I can't be bothered to do. It's more like I don't want to break anything right now. I can actually limit. Wait a moment. I can do this, though. Yeah, I limited, limited its vision. I don't know where the cone starts, because that token is, you know, not a. You know what I mean? Doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, it looks like, uh, starts with his ass, so like, I'm good with that. <laughs> that works actually. <laughs> works fine. Um, anyway, uh, Remty and Kolgig succeed on their stealth check, and uh, how do they close the door? Just... They, uh, well, they uh, they they skitter on over to it. They grab it and they slowly close it whilst whispering to each other. Fair enough. Uh, oh, is the, the, the best. You, uh, they can see Corpul still leaning at the wall, eyes closed, in a haze, seemingly very much enjoying himself. But oh, also, yeah. But not paying attention to... Well, you are silent enough that he doesn't even notice you, right? You're just behind the door and you close it. Yep. I actually want to say that these two chuckle fucks don't notice him because they're that <laughs> thick. <laughs> they're just behind the door, they also don't notice him. Fantastic. Exactly. Okay. Like, if if they had any brains, one of them would be watching out for him whilst the other closes the door, but no. Right. They both just scurry over and close the door. Oh, I want to ask, do you, any, do you do anything to lock the door closed somehow? Or? They're idiots. Oh shit, yeah. Uh, was there some kind of latch? Or there's probably like a latch or something to this close. Is... Which Mog Merge would have done. Yeah, there's a, there are simple latches to like. Yeah. Uh, some... Mitchell the human is stupid and forgot that, but Mog Merge would probably remember. Yeah, okay. What about Remty and Cool Greg, though? Cool Greg. They don't, because they, they are also stupid and dumb. They forgot it. It's fair enough. That's fair enough. So both Pook, of them are... uh, planned for this with his big smart brain, oh. and we'll uh, sneak up behind them and close the latches. Okay. <gasps> The latches are closed, and obviously very simple. 
But considering the guy in there is stoned out of his mind right now, you know, gonna probably be fine. So, uh, you doused one wall in alcohol. What now? Now? Now we fire. Oh, RIP Coops. Yeah, that was Coops. Oh. Uh, they also apparently have some family yeah. stuff. Ah, uh, I see. All right. Well, set the barn on fire. Gonna be fine. I guess you just like do do you throw the torch or do you just light it like in a proper way? Are we lighting in a proper way? We're goblins. We're experts yeah. at setting shit on fire. Yeah. Yeah, and that's how and throwing it now would be a waste of a perfectly good torch. Yeah. Comes built yeah. In. Now, of course. Uh, where the alcohol is, the fire takes root immediately and just engulfs Oof. that part of the, the wall. But of course, it's a big wooden building with thick wood. It'll take a bit to actually catch fire in its entirety. However, you already see the flames licking at the straw roof. Or the straw covered wooden roof, anyway. So do you want to just... Do you want to just stand there and look at the flames? Because I have a feeling that's something you would do, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, stand and look at the flames. For blood, a, blood, a blood, 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 Burn. No, not burn. We already have burn. Now we need blood. Need more burn. Burn first and blood. Let's roll a d4 to see if your guys are cheering the fire. They're not. <laughs> they're not. They're just, they're, you know, they're professionals right now. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, the... Fire keeps leaping up, eventually reaching the roof, setting the straw on fire, developing quite a bit of smoke now. Probably enough smoke so that other people will notice. And indeed they do. Some of the halflings in the crowd in the crowd? In the crowd uh, turn around, point at the barn and so Smoke! 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 Vinius and Velma turn around, see the fire burrowing up, the, the flames bellowing, the, the smoke smoking rising is the right word here and they organize what would they do let's see uh, yeah, they would probably organize a, a bucket train yeah <laughs> so all the halflings that are totally on this map and not you know hidden in, the, in nothingness uh, make their way across the god damn it wait a moment <laughs> road tools sorry they move towards the house to get buckets, all the while yelling about the fire. And so such and so. You see a human come out of the house, by the way, if you take a look at it. I actually don't know who's looking at it. Uh, only Pook, apparently. No, nope, I'm looking at it too. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, right, you're there. You yeah, are I mean, I could definitely see, but also I might have to uh, disappear, I'm afraid. Oh, uh. come on. I am really fucking sorry. Uh, I yeah, thought well, something was going to be happening tomorrow, but it's happening today. All right. Uh, I see. Well, I just you guys want to call it here? Uh, already. <laughs> no, play. just play without me. I mean, we can finish this fight. We can finish this fight. But uh, will it be the same without Mogmerch missing every shot? Uh, mm, you're right, though. All right. Fine, we'll call it. To stop here after, and just try and do this another Saturday. Yeah. I'm really fucking sorry. It's fine. Okay. So what? What is the thing anyway, Mitch? Uh, friend's birthday. Oh, I see. Yeah. So anyway, uh, hard cut here, and I just splice this into the next video. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yep. So we're back at the farm, and uh, obviously it has not been weeks and weeks and weeks since the last video. That would be weird. Right? No, it happened so right weird. before this one. Anyway, you uh, started to burn down the barn. It caught on fire. There's a dude inside. Yeah, we're trying to kill that guy. We, you tried to kill yeah. that guy. He was... Um, wait a moment. He was stoned out of his fucking mind. So, that might help. His name was... Uh, what was his name? Corpool. Um, Pook, uh, Pook, or Mitch, found a... Little piglet that is enamored with him. 
called Squealy Nord. Uh, no, I'm Mogmert. Mogmert. Oh, sorry. Who was Pook? Connor? I believe that was me, although I thought it was enamored with... Uh... Yeah, it's you. Yeah. yeah. Oh. What the was the pig my name is again? Mine. I can't see my token. Well, yeah, because you're not technically logged in. Well, I'm stinky. What? I'm still watching the stream. It's Chuffy. You're Chuffy. Chuffy, thank you. Oh, there you go. <coughs> yeah, Kettle Chuffy. Kettle, Kettle Chuffy. Chuffy. Kettle Chuffy, yes. <laughs> I'm going to give control over your token to Mitch. Thank you. Thank you. And also, uh, Remty and Kilgig, your loyal psychophants. Yes. There we go. Anyway, yeah, you uh, set fire to the barn with a dude inside and a ton of goats. You found a pig that is weirdly enamored with you, which has clearly nothing to do with the fact that this is technically a prequel written after the first one shot of Goblins. You know? Obviously. Really? Obviously. And then you were sighted by, well, a bunch of halflings. Uh, this whole place is was kind of half filled with halflings. They don't they don't have tokens because they like that kind of things. They ran away from the fire and started to organize a bucket chain. Except for Velma and Vinius there, the um, bridal is it a bridal pair? That word bridal pair no. The bride. The bride. Close I, enough. I think one is a guy, actually. I'm not entirely sure. No. Like the, the... I remember them both being like fucking absolute thugs of halflings. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Uh, they spotted you and were in the process of trying to attack you, basically, for ruining their wedding. And at the same time, a human person came out of the... Uh, the building up north. You don't know her name. I mean, you will never find out her name. Her name is Lottie. It's not like you're going to ask her. Well, we might. We might. <laughs> well, we I'm suddenly yeah. tempted to. Just looking at the cop. <laughs> looking at the cop. What was her name? I don't know. Sick, sick, And, um, yeah, uh, these three were in the process of rolling initiative. But if you, want yeah. to do, if you want to do anything before that, just tell me now and I have to look, I have to um, uh, open the, uh, you know, the goblin book. Yeah, we're, I'm not in range to throw anything, so. I will start picking up uh, any good throwing rocks that I see. I mean, you're still near the barn. They cleared a good uh, a good stretch of the of the farm to make room for like the wedding guests and all, but they had to put the rock somewhere. Uh, actually, you know what? Give me a perception check. All right. Uh, let me see what my perception even is. Ooh, should be good. Not negative. Nice. <coughs> well, never mind. Uh. You look around the farm, see grass, couple of wood, couple of logs, tiny hill made of stones that were discarded, more grass, and in your tiny goblin brain, that's that translates to oh, there are not enough rocks to throw. Must <laughs> throw grass. You can grass. throw the, You can totally throw, throw the grass. Throw grass. No, I never you see know, it I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be fair. You find one rock. That looks adequate enough to throw, but you discard everything, every other rock you see, because they're not that not pointy enough, or they're just kind of a bit not dirty enough, and you know you have standards, right? Yeah, yeah. you need to, you need to do some good tetanus. Yeah, yeah, it needs to be kind of rounded so it's aerodynamic enough. Uh, has to be high quality tetanus. Yes, exactly. Gourmet tetanus. You get like you get like the <laughs> only little, the finest grade tetanus. You get like the little the little mind image when like the you know the little formulas and the arc. It's just all comes together in your mind. <laughs> okay. Any uh, anyone else want to do something before like these guys just straight up attack you? 
Nope. Uh, drama weapons. We got, uh, we got, I believe we had, uh, dog or horse. Oh, right. Draw weapons. They, sh I mean, I think you wrote this down somewhere. It was a while ago. We got a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, oh, there's a potion of spider climb, a wand to cure light wounds. I think I took that because I'm the only one who can use it. Yeah. Uh, elixir of fire breath. Nice. Uh, torches. I'm pretty sure I ended up with the uh, elixir of fire breath. Uh, yeah, I, I did so. use the two things of grain alcohol that I had to set, you know, the bard on fire. Yeah, mm. yeah I should have like uh, I think maybe two or three alchemist fire left. I think Chuffy has a potion of jump. Nice. Yeah. I. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. I mean, you. I I know you had your own notes. If you still have them, is another question entirely. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I and think, then we um, all got like javelins and horse choppers and shit. You had um yeah. uh they were called like dog choppers or something. They're like yeah, they're dog like choppers. That's it's right. just a name. They're short swords for goblins. The only difference yeah, is yeah. if you like hit a net one twice, they break because they're shoddy as fuck. Yeah, they're goblin weapons. Exactly. What did you expect? <laughs> exactly. Okay. I expected the finest quality of goblin but weapons. But otherwise, um, <laughs> your sheets are still in the handout, so stat-wise, you can I just look into that. And it's not like you leveled up. I yeah, you know, I have that pulled up. Good, good. Um, yeah, in that case, let's put you all into initiative. Yeah, yes, yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, wait, I can actually... I, I, I think I'll be able to roll in roll 20, so I can do that at least. Just can't see anything. That's fair. Uh, All right, let's see here. What was my initiative? That's uh, your oh, initiative I'm should actually be sure. pretty fucking good. Yeah. I it's think surprising. mine was fifteen. Let me just check that out. I'm gonna add core pool. <laughs> Chuffy has a. That can't be right. What? What? No. It... It should be uh Chuffy's sheet says minus three, but it should be plus three. It's probably plus three. Yeah, probably. You goblins, you are like little scampers. Oh shit, I fucking killed it on initiative. Wow. Um what's uh Chuffy's? Uh Chuffy has a plus three to initiative. Thank All right. You. You now <clears throat> go ahead and roll that for John. You no, are... I'll, I'll roll that. I can roll. Oh, oh wonderful. John can roll. John just can't use any of the fucking yeah. uh, tokens or anything. Nineteen. Okay, so all right. With, is that with the three or without? That's with the, th the three. Ah, okay. Okay, put your thing in. I'm gonna look up. Uh, let's see. The two halflings have. Uh, literally, ooh, plus six. Wow. These guys are fast. Dang. Okay. This is for well, well, but they're... I'm rolling shitty, so you know. Wow. Okay, Winnie's gonna have an eight. Well, we're gonna have a nine. Jesus, we're, we're clearly <coughs> back at playing Pathfinder, right? Hell yeah. yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Lottie gets a straight twenty. Oh my god! Hell yeah! <sighs> okay, what about <laughs> we back in it, boys? Um, I'll go up. This guy has dog stats. Real quick, just dog stats. And he has a little dog. He's still in the house. You'll meet him in a few seconds. Oh, okay. <laughs> fun. Just has to. You know what? Wait. A... Hmm. I have too many windows open. It's kind of my issue here. Close this one. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that's Pathfinder for you. Oh, yeah. That's a 17 for the little dog. Corpool. Corpool is stoned out of his fucking mind, which is actually reflected in his initiative. <laughs> which I like. Like, it's, li it's literally part of his backstory. Or his setup thing. Yeah. Which means he comes in with a minus one. Has a ten. 
I'll also say he goes, he gets like surprised because he's still in the burn in the burning barn, right? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Like, he's still kind of out of it. I think the fire will snap him out of his haze. Or maybe not, right? And uh, I think Squealy... Yeah, Squealy Nord has picks the heads. So, Mitch... As he you, should. Would you roll me a plus one for your piggy? Piggy, piggy. Can do. All right. Fair enough. That's a five. Of and Cool Geek and Remdy have normal goblin stats, which I think they're also plus three, actually. Let's see. I'll go ahead and roll that. Yeah, so that's just simple. I mean, I'll roll it as soon as you uh, as you confirm that that's what it is. You can roll it. You can roll a d twenty for both of them. We just I just add the thing. A three for one and a oh, and that twenty for the other. Nice. We can yeah. let them both go on the same on the same twenty. It's fine. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. I just need to find real quick where the gob ah the goblin stats were in a bestiary, right? Yes. They are beasts. Yeah, I mean, technically, you're not supposed to just take it with you, right? I just let you. <laughs> uh, let's see, giant frog, giant leech, the, the, the null goblin. Okay. And they go on. Ooh, they actually have a plus six each. Wow. Okay. Dang. I think they go first then. At a 26 each. Wild. That is wild. Also, mm -hmm. geez, it's even wilder because I rolled like absolute shit. But what else is new? Look at this crap. <laughs> that is pretty ridiculous. Okay, well, it will be a while until I get to do anything. So, um, Remke, Kolgek, and Pook. Uh, Remke and Kolgek will go. First, because their initiative modifier is higher. Um, what do you want it? What do you want them to do? Charge valiantly into battle. You're like yeah, pretty much. You're like a hundred feet away from each of them. Um, Remember to roll and see if they actually three, do something. Uh, something oh smart. yeah, <laughs> you have to roll it. Actually, no, that only get that is after your turn. They react to your turn. Oh, if they go okay. first, they actually can use what little they have in terms of brains. Dang! Oh, would you look at that? Even better that they go first, then. So, uh, what do you want them to do? Just rush. Run up there and start beating things. Just rush them. Yep. Run up and get done. <clears throat> they have a speed of... Uh, 30 feet. If they double move, that's 60. Wanna just do You're that? <coughs> yeah. Just yeah. Rush towards them in a blind rage. Yeah. Absolutely. Fine. We can absolutely do that. Just need to. Okay. Uh, scroll out of it. Zoom out a bit. Let's see. 30 feet would be. No. No. I need uh, this one. 30 feet. 60 feet then would be around here. Something like that. It does honestly. It doesn't matter if there's like five feet difference or some shit. True. They whip their swords and just like whip themselves in a frenzy, and off they are, off they go, and they're away. Velma and Vinius. Sure shit are going. Yeah, Velma and Vinius have nothing to do yet. Pook. I'm gonna delay my turn until after Velma and Vinius. Uh, Kettle Chuffy. Kettle Chuffy? Oh shit, I forgot what my uh, what my weapons are. Uh, you have a short... Actually, I'm going to look it up. Wait. Thank you. Chuffy has a... Um... Should be called a dog slicer, I believe. Yeah, it's just a shitty short, short sword. You have a... I do have a ranged option, don't I? 
You have a dart, yes. You have darts. All right. Darts have a range of 20 feet. Yeah. Normally you have a sh you have a, a sharpened rock. But you upgraded gotcha. to um, <coughs> a dock slicer. <coughs> so, short sword. <clears throat> All right. Chaffee is going to use what stealth he has and dive under one of the tables. Your stealth is plus 15. Exactly. So, yes. Give me a stealth roll. I'm going to give you a stealth roll. And Mitch, if you would be so kind and move them. All right. Uh, about where are you moving to again? <clears throat> Under one of the tables. All right. I uh, rolled a 13, so that plus 15 is 28. You can make it through two of the tables easily, actually. Unless you want to double gotcha. move, but you may want to have an action left or something. Uh, yeah, prepare myself to slice anyone who comes in here. I'm, I'm going for my, uh, my dog slice and not my darts, by the way. Got it. Okay, Chuffy is preparing an ambush near yeah. the, the buffet, which is fine. Uh, out of the... <laughs> fuck's sake. I have to... How much movement does this dog have? Wait. 40 feet. Okay. That means the dog will meet... The dog will double move and meet Kalgik and Remti head on. Ha! Mitzen! I knew it was good to have some cannon fodder. Mitzen yeah. storms out of the... Storms out of the house. Behold! A snappy dog! Oh shit. Oh this, my this god. This tiny little little mongrel dog comes out and like, <laughs> charges Kalgik and Remti in its own frenzy. I hate it. <laughs> often, they're, oh my god. they're kind of the same size to be honest, which makes it worse. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so they are. The dog double moved, he doesn't have anything else to do. Mog merge! Mog merge no All right. Uh, don't forget goblins hate dogs. Yes. <laughs> Uh, oh my, my brave, uh, stupid man. I'm gonna move up, uh, and, uh, here, actually. Time to throw rocks at a dog. Okay. Rocks or darts? Just a rock, right? Uh, did I get, uh, you shit. I probably have some darts. You should have darts. Yes. Darts at dog, then. Yeah. Oh, uh, you're gonna Yeet. take. Although, actually, here's the thing: you That's do have a long way. your feet. You have a feet called throw anything. So actually, it doesn't matter for you. Oh right, right. In so fact, in fact, you don't have darts. You only have thrown rocks. Plus three. <laughs> yes. Throw rocks at dogs. Twelve AC. The dog. Barely, but you miss. Sorry. Shit. <laughs> Damn. You th they uh, don't call me Mod Merch No Aim for nothing. You sound, weirdly, <laughs> you sound weirdly proud of that, and you should not be. Your, uh, your rock sails over the tiny dog because you completely overestimated the size of this beast. It looks great. Bigger. Beast. Why, like, dog? No, I want, I want to not say. Not tall. I want to say Mod Merch. <laughs> Heard like the yapping and the barks and expected a much bigger dog than what this is. So he just he threw and <laughs> no, okay, like slightly bigger dog you would have hit in the head straight on. Why is the dog so small? Magmar was Magmar. Corpool. Um. Hmm. I'm. What do you guys say? A wisp like just a straight wisdom se roll. See if he wakes up or not. Sure. Honestly, yeah, that sounds about right. Makes maybe, sense. Maybe he burns to death <laughs> in a fucking whatever he's smoking. What well, flay leaf? Flay leaf was it? Should it be constitution then? Oh yeah, we could do calm. It's fine. So it's actually technically the... speaking a poison. Actually, it's the same role either way. So fair enough. Doesn't matter. We could say it's a combination constitution wisdom role. He's at the combination constitution wisdom roll. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's 
see it real quick. He has actually no goddamn bonuses here. Yeah, no, he's out of it still. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say like he needs a 10 to actually get up and notice that he's in a burning fucking building. Yeah. So Cobble <coughs> is just, just, ooh, warm, comfy. Just rolls over a bit, sleeps. Cobble is starting to have uh, a bad trip nightmare. Oh, God, yes. The fucking halflings now. Will they actually be able to do something? The halflings, the halflings are... Mm, they're slow. They're strong, but slow. So they will double move. Both of them. And they go into... That's 20. That's 40. Okay. Yeah, okay. Here and here. Yeah, that's their turns. And then Lottie. Oh, flanking their dog? Huh? Flanking their dog, like that. The, uh, kind of. Not the gameplay sense of no, flanking. No, no, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, they're, yeah. They're, they're um, uh, helping the dog out. Lottie, the um, owner of this farm, will look at you all with uh, a cast iron pan in her hand just like clap it once in her open hand menacingly and then go back in the house <laughs> and close the door behind her you hear the lock shut and a, a key turn understandable that's her turn <laughs> <laughs> the pig. Oh, by the way I believe it is my turn oh yeah that's true you delayed your turn I did. Please go. <laughs> please go. Uh, my pug is gonna run up over here, and then uh, let me check range real quick. Uh, yep, he is going to throw a javelin in a mitzen. Okay, roll for attack. Uh, yep, I'm checking my stats real quick. I got a plus two to this. Let's fucking go. That's a fourteen. That's not against touch, is it? No, it's just against regular AC. Oh, wait, no, it's plus two. Yeah, you hit. Yeah. That's going to be uh, two points of damage. Okay. I'm sorry. No, I have a minus two to hit. Uh, or minus, I have a seven strength, so that's going to be one point of non-lethal. Ah. Uh, that would be one of them. Okay. okay, so you, <laughs> you describe what you just did. Uh, Poog, like, runs up, uh, inf incensed by the presence of dog. Uh, begin like, begins pulling out a javelin, trips, hurdles, and then just, like, throws the javelin. But it goes, instead of, like, having it be, like, a nice throw, like a regular spear, it just starts, like, spinning in the air and, like, hits Blitzen with, with like, the broad side of the javelin. The blunt, I want to say with the blunt end. The blunt end. <laughs> yeah, okay, your javelin... Your javelin technically does hit the dog, and the dog is, I mean, kind of confused by it, if I'm honest. The dog takes a point of damage. A point of non-lethal, yeah. I put it in. Yes. Put it in. Uh, yeah. Fucking killing it. I mean... Nice. It's hard to tell if the dog knows what just happened, because, you know... But let's find out. Anyway, that would be Squealy Nord's turn. I, I'm not sure if the piglet will actually do anything. Well, who knows? Maybe it's uh, out for revenge, knowing that its fellow pigs have been slaughtered for meat all these years. Desires the blood of vengeance. I mean, Mitch, it's your decision. Does Squealy Nord have an attack or have something to attack with? It's a pig. It or has a it has a bite. Onward, my friend! Charge! It also my has soul a, battle command. It has a speed of 30 feet, just like you. Okay. It would be pretty funny if the pig dies here somehow and I have to bring it back in one of the other one-shots. Yeah. <laughs> it's just an identical pig with an identical name. Yeah. Uh, just going to be getting in position. Pretty sure that was 30 feet. It, Wait, I it it's not important if it's oh. like on the foot, right? 
Like, this is such a slow combat anyway. <laughs> because let's face it, none of you fucks can move and neither can your enemies. Yeah. Pretty much. You're all like... Technically, you're sub-level one. Yeah, we're level zero. So You want to just move normally and then do nothing? Uh, actually, let's go ahead and do a double move to uh, get in position. <laughs> yep, setting up the charges. Setting up. <laughs> just wait until you see the full extent of my tactic. <laughs> okay, that's really not. Remty and Kalgor. Hey, time to roll and see if they do stuff or if they're dumb shits. They can take a five foot step and a. Well, Remty doesn't even need to move. He can just attack when he is. Yep. They I mean, have... that's what. Yeah. Yeah. Their attack is. Let's see. Goblin stats. Da, 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 da. Ah, they both have dog slicers at a plus one. All right, and are we not going to roll for them actually doing the thing? I mean, I thought you can roll. What? Oh, oh who uh, knew the turn. whole, like... No, you're... Uh, who... Well, you're hidden, so... They have nothing to react to. Oh, okay. Fair enough. That, tra that tracks. All right, gonna... Gonna just, uh... Remty, gonna be uh, slicing at... Winnie's? Yeah. Kolka gonna take a five foot step and go for Wilma. <coughs> Just gonna move <coughs> Kalgi up here. Hey, what was their attack? Plus, Plus one. Plus one. Plus one. All right. <coughs> I'm just gonna roll one for both of them because they. That's fair. They. Yeah. All right. They got a twelve. Thirteen against. I don't think that'll hit the halflings. No, I meant twelve no. in uh, as a whole. Like they roll eleven. Yeah, it won't hit. Gotcha. Just be they they kind of just like uh, locked in mortal combat. At the at the same time, like they're twins, which they kind of are. Let's face it. They whip out their Basically, swords. Basically, yeah. And stab at the halflings who deftly get out of the way with like a sort of half slide like the little scoundrel would scoundrel. you say that they uh, yeah would you say that they uh, moved bitch got out the way basically yeah <laughs> i wanted to say slide out of the way like the little scoundrels and scoundrels and thieves that they are nice that's why goblins and halflings don't like each other because they're essentially the same you know what yeah <laughs> No halfling respect here. Uh, that's basically their turn then. Which, hey, they survived. Kettle Chuffy, you're still hidden. You have an action yeah. prepared. Um, you could use your ranged option. How far away are the fuckers? Uh, let me look. Let's see. Uh, 40 feet, 45 feet, and 40 feet. I... All right. Think... Well, there's one thing that I really want to do with Kettle, Chuffy. Okay. That I really want to do with Chuffy. Oh, there's one thing that Chuffy really wants to do. Oh. He wants to sneak underneath the tables and from those tables oh. get to the big old cake. That... And then he wants to dive into the cake. Okay. And shoot from there. Okay. I'm <laughs> not even going to... You don't have to roll for stealth because everyone else is super distracted by fighting. Sweet. Okay, so that means you're going to be moving what here? About there would be. Yeah. That would mean you are. Let's see, what's your range on these guys? Still 40, but. Oh, one is 25 away now. Winnie is. Hey, getting closer. So you would. If you attack him now with ranged, you wouldn't even get like a, a negative or something. Oh, sweet. Gonna do that. Yeah, do, uh, do you know what... Do you have any extra range weapons? Like, did you pick anything up? Oh, man. I could have sworn I picked up, uh, like... Uh, let's see. I think do one I... of you picked up a bow, actually. Yeah, I, I think I was the one. Let me see. So, here's my thing. I didn't find any... Oh, that's a loot pile. 
You know, I think I picked up a bow. You know what? I'm gonna let you have it because honestly, here's the thing: Kalgig and Remdy both have short bows. You could have just stolen one of them. Honestly, yeah, and absolutely. You have a plus four to ranged. Sweet. Time to roll. Holy shit! That's a that's a net twenty. Oh fuck me! Okay. Nice. I'm gonna roll again and see if it confirms. Do it. Fourteen. Does that confirm? No. I so just. <laughs> It hits. That it would hits. have been amazing because a short bow has a crit modifier of times three. Oh, fuck yeah. But you hit. It's uh, 1d4 damage. Alrighty. 1d4. Come on. Come on. There we go. Two. Okay. You hit Vinius in the... Oh, come on. Let me... Let me adjust your HP, damn it. There. Uh, you hit Vinius with a small arrow in the... Hmm. You decide. It was a crit. Mm, that gets to be a body shot. Just straight up center of mass? Yeah, pretty much. So with any bit of luck, it hits some internal organs. Fair enough. Uh, Hit you, see your your, beats. you see your arrow strike through in the exact center of Vinius's chest. He he just got out of the evading action that he took against uh, Remty and now looks down and there's just a small piece of wood sticking out of his, his clothing. I don't think he has time to actually react properly to that right now. So. With any bit of luck, I'm still hidden because I'm covered in cake. <laughs> Give me another stealth check. Alrighty. Act, and in fact, wait, we're, we're doing this against Winnie's passive perception. Oh my god. It should not be that good. He's like, uh, let's see. Alright, I rolled an 8, so that's a 23. Uh, yeah, he can't see you. <laughs> Kettle Chaffee is stealth. Yeah, this dude is not... I could roll this and I couldn't make that number. So, yeah. <laughs> nice. So you're, you're just hidden in like the fucking cake that somehow kept its its like vague shape as you shot an arrow out of it. If we were playing... Uh, if, we, if we were playing that cartoon thing that that cartoon dnd i would have said that chuffy just ate his way to the center of the cake and then just <laughs> pooped his head out on the other side i mean i guess okay so that was um that was chuffy the dog the dog will attack well the nearest <coughs> target i guess let's roll a d2 here d2 and remedy works for me actually has an attack of as a bite. Holy shit! Jesus! Oh! That's not confirm, but it's so thank oh. goodness. Otherwise, that would have been <laughs> that the was end of a, Yeah, that, that could a, have been a problem. That was a bite. Yeah, it's uh, ooh, twenty-four plus. One. Okay, but I roll damage and let's see. Ooh, two whole damage. Wow. Ooh. In all fairness, that's <clears> a third <throat> of Remty's health. Yeah, that's pretty serious. The dog, yep. the dog clamps its tiny, tiny snout down on Remty's leg and just stays there. And Remty goes, just Ouch! bites it, just bites itself into place while snarling. Mug merch. All right, so I'm going to can I move just, up. Can I make a suggestion? Move. Yes. This would be a perfect time to throw alchemist fire and hurt many people who do not deserve to be hurt. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's the plan. <laughs> Going to move up. Okay. Now, Mitzin, Wait. you time to get alchemist fire at the dog. <laughs> One of these days, I'm gonna hit. Remember this. This verse touch AC. Oh. <laughs> You're trying to hit the dog, or yes. just the space? Uh, I'm going to say probably just 
the space between the dog and win or so you have to pick a so you have to pick a target pick a square basically yeah and you missed so we're gonna roll a d8 yeah oh yeah we're going clockwise all right okay that's uh it's one two so that ends up in the uh top right so they both need to roll a reflex save yeah i know uh fuck it's been a bit, so I don't know if we all remember the rules for Alchemist Fire. No, it's totally fine. Let me just... Winnie is... Uh... You didn't hit Remdy, so that's good. Yeah! That's impressive. Uh, what is the... Let's see. Dog totally on purpose. <laughs> totally on purpose. Um... Totally meant to do that. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, I just... <laughs> also, dog bites carry rabies. Oof. They have like a. Oh, they have damn, a, that shit sucks. Yeah, but the onset is 2d6 weak, so we're not going to see this this game. No. <laughs> well, Remty's fucked. Oh, so it just does one point of splash damage. No, it's fine. Haha, ha, I'm getting points on the scoreboard. You know Hell what? Hell yeah. I'm, you know what? I'm just. I... Plus one. Where is his dex? Oh, there it is. It's plus one. There, there's no reflex save. It's only if you're on a direct hit. They just take one point oh, of damage. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Even better. Their yeah, reflex sucks anyway. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's minus one here. And minus one for Vinius. Who is not... He's not looking happy. Like, so far he got almost hit with a sword. He got hit with an arrow in the chest. He's got hit with fire from behind him. I want to say that his ass is on fire, to be honest. Cool. Yeah. We'll make another constitution slash wisdom save. No. Even worse <laughs> than the first one. I mean, no, it's oh, slightly Jesus. better. It's it's slightly better. Corpool, you can't see that, but he's rolling around again, slowly suffocating from the smoke that's filling the barn. Having the worst fucking trip of his life. <laughs> I wonder what he's screaming of. Velma. Velma will attack Kulgik with her. Uh... Oh, they don't have weapons. Unarmed strike. Okay. <laughs> Works for me. That's convenient. They're specialized in it, so. That's un inconvenient. Oh, because yeah, they're brawlers. Interesting. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. I'm even more happy that we got cannon fodder. That's a some, plus. Some yeah. Fields. Oh yeah. These guys are actually like stat wise, they could fuck you up. Which is why I'm stealth. Yeah. So anyway, that's a D20 plus three. Oh, that hits. That doesn't confirm, Ooh. but it definitely hits Kalgik. Um. I'm rolling a. D4 plus one. Focus on the same. Let me just look up if they have anything brawler related here. Uh, no, 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 <coughs> no. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just straight up damage. Wonderful. Ooh, three damage. That actually means. Oh shit! Uh, that means Kalgik is unconscious. Oh, fuck. oh no! Was he, was he damaged before? Kalgik had three non-lethal damage. Oh my god! He's now at two HP, which means he's under it, so he's he goes down. Oh! We just I'm, I'm putting a, this one on him. Yeah. So Velma just punches Kalgik straight in the face, and he goes prone. He's out of it. You hear a distant bell ring. Goes down with a ridiculous little sound of. Velma then turns her gaze upon Remti and her soon to be husband. That was soon to be corpse. Next thing. Pook. Pook is gonna run up, turn around, uh, look down Winnius and the dog, and then do the most. And do well, the only thing appropriate for goblins after fire has started uh, create more fire. He is gonna cast Burning Hands. Ooh. Nice. Uh, that will hit the dog and Winnius. Okay. I'll be a DC 12 reflex save. Okay. Uh, let's see. Reflex for the dog is plus one. Does not make it. Ooh, it's four damage, by the way. The dog takes Oof. four damage, and that means he's down because he had one non lethal. Aha! 
Yeah. Hey, your javelin uh, worked. It, are they on fire or not? No. That's a shame. Um, <laughs> the dog is down. Vilnius is... Uh, Vilnius' reflex is ooh, plus five. But I'm rolling. Shit. But I'm rolling like shit, so who knows? Yeah, I'm rolling like shit. Okay. Yes! <laughs> Minus four. Oh, that is a big hit. Holy shit. He's he's down to half his <clears throat> body. Vilnius is not looking like a happy camper. Like, he's getting just pelted from all sides with fire and projectiles and who knows what. Yeah, yeah, sucks to be him. I'll take the wrong day to be a halfling. <laughs> Winnius will I'm now. Much rejoicing. <laughs> <laughs> Winnius will now. Who do what exactly? This is not a good position to be in. The dog is unconscious. He's of no help. There's fire behind him. There's a goblin in front of him. There is fire behind him. However, five foot step here. And he's going to take cover behind his soon to be wife. Huh. <laughs> oh, that's cute. He, he, thinks thinks that's soon to be wife. he thinks they're both going to live. Oh, <laughs> how sweet. Okay, don't overdo it. Don't overdo it. <laughs> Um, we're goblins. We're evil. When he is, that's Lottie, Lottie's turn. Uh, if you if you look at the house, you will see Lottie going behind the windows <coughs> and slowly closing and locking each of them. That's her turn. Lottie's not getting involved. That's gonna be fun when we set fire to the house. She's losing the dog. That's bad enough. Uh, Squeedy Nord. Uh, let's see. Squealy Nord is just going to... Uh, I'm going to say quickly moves around here and just puts Dog out of its misery. Right. Also, why is Squealy Nord's nameplate not visible? This is annoying. I see it. Yeah, but I don't and the recording doesn't, so... Well, who knows? So you want to attack the dog... You can't coup de gras the dog because you have to move. Ah. Uh, you can try I'm... and attack it. Yeah. I hope you uh, think uh, it's plus two because I it's do prone. get, yeah, plus two for prone. Well, for it. And what's uh, the pig's plus, normal uh, bonus? Plus one, I think. Yeah, it's plus one. So plus three. I mean, that hits. It's going to, yeah. Uh, you don't have to roll for damage because it's on like one HP. Oh, yeah. The dog is. Down for the count. And if no one else does anything, it will bleed out and die. So. Terrible. Good. That was Squeedy Nord's yeah. turn with the first kill of the combat. <laughs> Remty. Remty just got his kill stolen by a pig. He's angry. He, he's going to scream and then five foot step and attack the closest thing that's not, you know, a goblin. Okay. That would be the pig. Or a pig. Okay. So Velma. And he's going to, yeah, exactly. He's going to attack Velma. He's going to move you over there. All right. Uh, yeah, that's a D20 plus, what was it? Three? Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, plus one actually. For the short sword. Alright, he rolled a fifteen, so that's sixteen. Sixteen against the Yeah, you hit. Neo. What's the damage? Uh, let me just check. It's not high. What is the strength? One D four? No, I, I have it here. It's Yeah, it's one D four. Stab. Four. Stab. Because it's a small short Deep. sword. So what did you roll? If anything? Four. Oh, four. Good. Sorry, I didn't hear it. <laughs> nice. Four damage to Velma. That was a big hit. Kalgig is unconscious. He can't do shit right now. But he's not dying, so, you know. Cattle Chuffy, you're still hidden in the cake. Somehow. Oh, would you look at that? It's a nice clear shot to Velma. 
I would recommend yeah, shooting for Winnius. What? Take a minus. Uh, remember, you take a minus four if you're shooting at something in melee combat. Yeah. Oh right. Rem Remty's in your way right now. Right, gotcha. In that case, Winnius. So you should murder her husband. Absolutely, yes. yes. <laughs> Gonna keep doing the shooting. Uh, what was plus uh... three? Thank you. Uh, true love. Twelve. I don't think that hits. Um, mm, I don't think so either. But I want to double check. No, but barely. Ooh. So your arrow just goes like by his ear. Do I have to roll stealth to not key him in on where I am? I don't think so. He's fairly oh, busy right now. Question. Would that have hit Winnius's flat footed AC? Uh, yes, actually. Because oh. uh, is Chuffy is sneaky. Chuffy is sneaky. Oh, would he hit? Would he just go for this for the flat footed? Yes. Chuff, uh, yeah, Winnius right. can't see him right now. Oh, that's, yeah, you're right. No, yeah. Roll damage. Dang, I'd forgotten that. Sweet. Yeah, me too. I forgot, like, oh, yeah, stealth is a thing here. It's been a bit since we played. Yeah, I know. Yes. I know. Okay, roll damage. That's a D4? Hmm? Wait, wait, what? wait. Like your it's going to be a D4. Yeah, okay, D4. D4. One. Well, you know, it's it's the thought that counts. It's, the, it's, it's still the a point of damage. It's still damage. Yeah, you, yep. uh, you sink a second arrow right next to the first arrow. But... Since the first hour is kind of in a way you do minimal damage, but still, it looks, <laughs> it looks cool. Everyone <laughs> is very impressed, okay? Chuffy's aim is true. <laughs> Little golf announcer, there, and he goes for the chest again. <clears throat> Let's see how, that, <laughs> see how that works out for him. <laughs> All right, uh, that was Chuffy. Mitzen is dead. Basically, I actually mean, uh, mock merge. And there was much. All right. <laughs> so, mock merge is going to move around a little bit to get a clear shot at Winnius. Okay. Time to, th uh, let's see, throwing the first vial of alchemist fire didn't work, but you know what they say? Uh, if at the first you don't succeed, try. <laughs> If at first you don't succeed, fail, fail, fail again, yeah. Yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, you don't. Damn! Yeah. What did you aim at? I was going to say the definition uh, of madness is doing the same thing over yeah. and over again and expecting a different outcome. Okay. So, uh, so that will land here. Fantastic. Yeah. Absolutely. One point of damage. Well, okay. So, yeah. It's just Eventually. minus one. It's just minus one damage for Vilnius, so. Yeah, make a bit of fire there. It's fine. Yeah. Corporal, who is actually supposed to be your main adversary. <laughs> finally snaps out of his stupor. Finally fucking wakes up. Good luck getting out of the yeah. barn, asshole. Out from the barn, you hear loud coughing. And some, some swear words as uh, the big human that towers over you finally awakens. And stumbles his way to the closed door. That's his turn, basically. Velma will... She can't really flee. Her husband is there. Will just... Attack Remti, I think. Yeah. Really not much choice. Oh. <laughs> okay, that was that turn. She, uh, she tries to swing tries nice. to swing a haymaker and just whiffs it completely. Almost knocks herself out. It's a good thing crit, uh, crit misses can't break your goddamn fists. <laughs> Could be a thing. I mean, we have to we'd have to like use third party things, but you know, pook. I mean, unless it's goblin fists, I suppose, since all yeah. goblin weapons break. Um, uh, pook is gonna move over here and is oh, oh fuck 
I forgot vision cones. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh fuck. Oh god. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, there we go. Uh, and it's gonna huck a javelin into Winnie's. <laughs> okay. Vacuum. Oh, that's a fucking seven. I don't think that'll hit. Absolutely not. Where does where does your javelin go? Uh, fucking somewhere. Okay, then I'm gonna say you track the javelin and it hits one of the windows next to Lottie. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Who just who who responds to it by closing the curtains? <laughs> She's As not involved. Should. She's not involved. Nope, this is not happening. Winnius. Winnius will... Hmm. Oh, boy. Will cling to his wife and sob? I kind of want to say he would flee, but they're halflings. They, they you know, ride or die or both, right? Yep. In this case, probably both. Winnius will... That's going to be an and, not or here. Winnius will... <laughs> inf Actually, wait a moment. How much do I need for rush? Because I think I have this. Charge? Yeah, charge. Ten feet? Ten feet. I have that. I'm going to charge you. Oh, shit. He's oh, not... Cool. He's going to... I'm going to put him here because, like, you're all small size. It's really dumb. Yeah. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh! Ah! He charges at you, trips over his own giant, disgustingly hairy feet, and just barely, manages, just barely manages to not fall onto his face. Lottie is still busy. Just I'm going to remove her from the order, actually. She's busy just closing the windows and the curtains. <laughs> Squealy Nord. Uh, Squealy Nord is just going to also... Swing around and try to take a bite out of Winnius. Okay. <laughs> Again, plus one. It's a shame you're not flanking with anyone. That hits. Yes. That hits, and your bite is 1d4. Fair. I mean, damage is damage. Damage is damage. You just squealy Nord with his tiny. Piglet teeth just gnaws on Winnie's foot. Craves the blood. Yeah, just gnaws on Winnie's foot and actually draws blood. Dang. Rempty. Attacks Velma, I guess? Yes. Actually, could Rempty move without getting attacked? No. Otherwise, you could flank, but I guess you can just attack. Exactly. Well, roll your d20. I'm going to roll a d20. Wasn't it a d20 plus one? Well, yeah, but we add the plus one anyway, so. Okay. You know. <laughs> he rolled a nine all in all. No. So that's won't plus hit. d plus one. Yeah, won't hit. Remdy is not really at his A game today, it feels. Kolka went down. He did, he did go down because Rempty is shit at his job today. Kalagik is still down. Chuffy, still hidden. You have, however, no clear target. I mean, you can still fire at the enemies, but you will incur a penalty. I'm okay with firing at the enemies and incurring a penalty. Right, that was, gonna, uh, go for, uh, gonna go for uh, Winius again because, you know, gotta whittle that fucker down. I think firing the midi was a minus two to hit. So, plus in one. total, I have a plus one. Yeah. <laughs> That's a crit fail. What an amazing combat scenario. Yep. That's <laughs> choppy. A bit of cake falls on my bow as I fire it. <laughs> All right, so he did see a uh, corpule. Actually, wait, no. No, no, you didn't. You heard him cough and, like swear so you know he's awake presumably i'm going to swing around over here okay. and now it's time to start doing melee oh yeah you're you're flanking okay but it was kung fu fighting so <laughs> let's see with my plus two uh means i'm hitting at a plus or attacking on a plus one 
Nice. Oh shit! Oh shit! I oh hit. Oh my god! You hit. You absolutely. And what's the damage for a dog slicer? D six. D four. Yeah. Oh. D four. D four. We're small. Yeah. You're, you're right. Tiny, right. You're tiny guys. It's, uh, it's still minus two because uh, weak noodly what? arms. <laughs> One point of damage. <laughs> One point at a time. Winnie is just going down. <laughs> Chip damage adds up. This is like this is literally death by a thousand cuts for this poor dude. Yep. Yes, and there's one of those cuts. Okay, that's mod merge <laughs> corp fuel. Uh, opening the door will just be a strength check. I don't think you tight that shot. So um, let me check real quick. His strength is plus one. Okay. Ah, this fucking guy. You know, backstory-wise, he was hired as security for the wedding. Just saying. What's <laughs> up? Velma. I don't think he's gonna get a good Yelp review. Okay, let's see. How do we do this? You don't. You just die. Five foot step. Perish. Five foot step. Gonna pick up Winius with his help. I'm just gonna uh, pre empty his turn basically, like entirely. And she's gonna try and run away, which will which means Mogmerch gets an opportunity attack. Nice. Doesn't Pooh also she's... get an opportunity? I don't know. Th she's not in range of Pooh. Oh. I thought you were talking about Winnius. Never yeah. mind. Uh, no, Winnius just leaves with her. Mogmerch, make your attack. Gonna put them both on the same thingy. And move them up here. Like, it's highly unlikely you can down her unless you crit. Crit, 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 crit. Do it, do it, do it, do it. I have to be neutral. All right. Let's see if I can do it. Don't stop believing. Oh, oh, the dream the dream I mean, you hit. I'm not, uh, yeah, I'm gonna hit at least. Yeah, roll your damage. Holy Two shit. damage. Nice. Holy shit. Okay. That would have downed uh, willingness, actually. Um. All right, so these two will try and flee. They are slower than you. So, we also technically have throwing weapons. That's true. Pook. Uh, shit. Uh, how far am I? Da -da 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 -da. Gonna roll up over to here. And this is probably a brave. Yeah, only melee weapons. I'm gonna huck another javelin at Winnie or er, Welma. Okay. Whoever's carrying the person being the Ve not the carrie, the carrier. Right, that's Velma. Fuck you, Velma. That's a seventeen. Hit. Nice. Four yeah. points of damage. Holy shit. Nice. That is. Oh, that's not looking good for those two. Smack them. Pig. Pig. Run All right. Wheel. Let's see. Does pig have charge? I mean, Pig can make I mean, charge. Everyone is charged, <laughs> technically. So, yeah, you can totally try yeah. and charge or, Velma. No, uh, I was seeing if I uh, had a good line in range, too. No, which fair. I do. Roll, roll to hit. <laughs> uh, and let's see, with plus two, so that's plus three total. No. No, my pig! Squealy Nord trips over his own little hoofsies. Or whatever, oh, pigs, whatever pigs have. Not actually. Poor baby. <laughs> yeah. And human hands. Yeah. Human on his own little tiny human hands that he carries with him for some reason. He's a weird yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Remty. Um, yeah, I don't know what Remty can't really charge, I think. No, the pick is in the way now. Remty could help up Cool Geek. Well, I uh, I imagine that they're close enough that he'd probably try to do that. Yeah, just 
how would Remty help up Cool Gig? Like the typical goblin way is probably just to try and kick him in the head until he wakes up. I imagine he'd uh, grab him by the scruff of the neck and just pull him up. All right. I mean, he's still unconscious, but now he's standing. Sort of. <laughs> the next moment, he's face uh, hit face first in the, in the ground again. And his idiot friend is going to keep doing that until he wakes up. Okay. I mean, he needs healing, basically. Renty doesn't know that. That's, you know, that's fair. They're not... They're goblins. They're not smart. And they're also particularly stupid versions of goblins. That's also true. They're not even the smart goblins. Oh god, yeah, they're, exactly. so, they're so dumb. Holy shit. Okay, that's Remty, Colgate, Chuffy. You can... 80 feet. But it's a short bow. I think you can still hit them. Let's see if... Ooh. What a sh what was short bow range? I think ninety feet, hundred twenty, something like that. Uh something like that. Yeah, I'm gonna look real quick. Alrighty. Short bow pathfinder. Uh, sixty feet. Sixty feet. That means you roll at a minus two, so at a plus one. Alrighty. But I'm still I'm still rolling for the flat foot because I'm hidden and stealthy. That's true. And I am going to go for the one carrying as uh, as well, just to try and see if for we Velma, can fucking, right. gotcha. Yeah, they can stop running. That's a sixteen. Hits. Sweet. There's a good chance you will kill these these guys. And a yeah, two for damage. Merge. You did. Uh, they're not dead, but um, they're at zero. Nice. Uh, you shoot your at minus. Come on, minus two. Uh, it's fucking. There we go. At zero. You shoot your arrow. It hits. I don't know. Leg. What do you say? Um. Yeah. Yep. A leg. Yeah. Hits one of the legs. Back uh, of the knee. Back of perfect, yeah. Back of the knee, and they go down hard, landing on their chin, going unconscious, and that's all she wrote. Literally, uh, Vinius is still conscious, but um, it's Mogmerger's turn now. All right, uh. I'm going to get in there and uh God. you said that Winius was still conscious? Winius is at one hit point. Uh wait, actually let's see, I was I think here. Can I get around to flank is the question. No, not quite. Uh what's my speed? Thirty. I mean, that's... is that, uh, I'm pretty sure it's flanking. Uh, you're all small. It's a bit... Iffy. Oh, right, right. That, you have to be directly across from yeah. each other. Uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking... Mogmerge runs up, uh, brandishes his... What do you have, a, a sword? Do you have uh, a sword? yeah, dog slicer. Do you have a dog slicer? Brandishes his dog slicer... Tries to do like a little, like sort of flyby thing where you just behead them, but like completely misses everything and just makes a little pirouette. Corpool. Yep. Corpool will open the goddamn door. Matter of fact, oh. you see the door fly open, like to the side with a loud. Vroom. As Corporal steps out and looks at the chaos surrounding him. Okay, he can't see the two halflings. He can see the fire, the dead dog, the unconscious goblin. Can't see Kettle Chubby. Can't see Pook, can't see Mock Merge. Okay, so he only sees Remty and Kulgig. 
He's going to draw his sword, stand here, and get ready for an attack. That's his turn, though. Velma is down. Winnie is. Poo. Hmm. One hit point left. His wife is dead. Hail Mary, right? Mogmerch does not get hit. So that was pointless. Pook. Pook. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Sorry, thinking. It's your turn. Uh, uh, huh. oh, ah! um, Corporal comes. Do you hear Corporal come out of the barn behind you? Pook turns around. <laughs> Uh, dog slicer at the ready to meet his new challenger. Then looks up and up and up and decides he's gonna go fight the halflings. Ready, big, yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm gonna move over here, flank with Mog merch, no aim. Uh, I'm gonna try and stab Winnius in the fucking spine. All right. Don't forget your flanking. You uh, that's a seventeen you hit. for one point of damage. Dude's down. Fuck him up. Yep, dude is at zero. Ah! So both the halflings are out of the fight. Not dead yet, but probably soon. I can't... Commit die! Yeah, I don't think you will spare them. Squiddy North. All right. So, time to look at what the fuck is going on there. Uh, Squiddy Nord's taste for blood uh, has not been <laughs> sated. <laughs> Uh, and so we'll charge over. Uh, okay. Let's go. All right. <laughs> this pig has dealt more damage than I, or is better at hitting than I am. So I believe in this pig. You hit. <laughs> yeah. I believe in pig. Yeah, I trust this pig with my life. Oh my god. <laughs> Right. Uh, this dude Show takes, me kill! This dude takes three <laughs> damage as he's getting attacked by a piglet. What the fuck? <laughs> Only complete fuck, right? Like, we will see how he reacts on his turn. He's still, like, kind of stunned, yeah. right? Uh, Remty is still busy with Kulgig, unless Remty wants to attack this new, uh, this new challenger. Yeah, like, dude was just uh, hanging around for a smoke before enjoying some cake. Yeah. And now everything's on fire and a pig bit him. This is a bad trip for sure. Emotional damage. Pretty much. The que yeah, the question is, does he actually oh. think any of this is real or has <laughs> he had this bad trip before? I mean, we'll see on his turn, I guess. Does Remty want this to... It's a really specific bad trip. <laughs> does Remty want to attack this new challenger or not? John? John? Shigan. John gone? Jonathan? Shit, sorry. I, I, I dosed up. Uh, dosed off. Oh no. Uh, sorry. Uh, is it is it Chuffy's time, John? No, it's Remty's turn. But oh, Chuffy right, is right, right behind, so. Right. Uh, how far away is Remty from Corporal. anything and everything? Uh, it's right, kind of. 20, 15, 20 feet away from Corporal. You can attack him if you want. Uh, you know what? Sure. Gonna just drop Kalkik like a bag of potatoes and attack Corporal. Yeah. I mean, Kalkik is still unconscious. He won't mind. I'll put you there. Well, roll your... Uh, your d20. With a uh, right. plus one, was it? Yeah. Yeah, plus one, yeah. He got a 17. That should hit. Sweet. Yeah, that's it. I'll find the damage. 1d4, was it? Uh, yeah. Three. Three here. Oh, that's actually 
Alright. Empty Calgate Chuffy. Gonna 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 shoot the big human. Gonna shoot bang. Shoot. Shoot go whiff. You are still in stone. Goblin shoot me. You are still in stone. <laughs> you got it. Let's shoot me. Alright, so D twenty plus one, a sixteen. Hit. Roll your damage. Wonderful. One. That's Oh, that's actually enough. Uh Mog Merge, your turn. Alright. Uh going to uh let's see what exactly is my uh hmm. you could charge i can make that charge you can into flanking too nice now to finally deal some at uh yeah join my pig in that in glorious battle battle pig that's a at the ready. That actually... <laughs> that hits. Is that a crit thread with the dog slicer? Uh, it's a 14, so no. Oh yeah, never mind. <laughs> Derp. Yeah, you hit dog. Yeah. And I do get plus two to damage from the charge, so I'm uh, actually rolling a normal d4. Motherfucker! Oh. <laughs> 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 okay. Um... Welcome to and one code to one point hell. Oh, we're just doing health. chip damage. We'll get there eventually. You are? Let's see. I have to look something up real quick. Because I think... Uh... Mm -hmm. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, okay. Uh... Corporal is down to half health. Which means he's out of here. <laughs> fuck this shit. He's fuck, what? He's out of here. Fuck all of this shit. <laughs> he's not being paid enough for this. Okay, he oh. will. Oh, fuck me. He gets. No matter what he does, he gets one attack of opportunity here. Um. Okay. Over here. Full pussy power! Which means the attack comes from Remty. You need Amen. 20 from him here? Yep. A 9? No. That's not it. Yeah. Remty just tries in vain to hit Corpul as he runs off at like a full speed. Well, when I say full speed, he's still stoned out of his fucking mind, right? Because he can manage. He just stumbles off running like he just heard the police like roll in. <laughs> uh, what's his speed? He has normal human speed, so 30. Um, 35, 60 over here. Just whoop, full speed towards the water. Hey guys, what do you call a, a stone person at a roller rink? I don't know what, John. A high roller. A Terrible. A Pook, do you want to do anything? Death, destruction, murder. So that guy is just fucked off, right? That guy is running away as we speak, yes. Good. Uh, Poog is going to walk up to the house and start lighting shit on fire. Nice. Yeah, that's fair. You don't need to roll for that. <laughs> just, Poog just gets out like a little tinderbox and starts putting fire on the <laughs> Fire on the <laughs> Poog's just smooshing yeah, up. Fire, fire, okay. yeah, fire, fire. Yeah. Right up. Uh, uh, let's see. Squeedy North can really... <laughs> Squealy Nord can't reach and any there was enemies. Much rejoicing. Neither can Remty, neither can Mock Merge. Uh, uh, I will be moving over to join uh, the burning. That's fair. Chuffy, you could. You still have an opportunity to hit this guy in the back with an arrow. Oh, yeah, definitely gonna take it. Alright, plus three. Plus three. And hitting his flat foot. 
I mean, yeah, he's, he definitely hasn't noticed you so far. <laughs> yeah, damn, that's not gonna work, though. What was it? So roll the five. Yeah, no, his, his flat foot is not that bad. Nope. So that's Cattle Chuffy, Mock Merge, Corporal again. He will actually be out of here now. Yeah, he's actually outside the map now. Damn. You see him run straight forward to the water as fast as he can, jump into it, and like swim away as fast as he can. Yes, exploiting uh, the one weakness of goblins that none of us know how to fucking swim. Yeah. Like, uh, it's goblins. The problem with being raised in a crate. Goblins generally don't like water too much. Kind of a shame. You like like 90s video game characters. Yeah. Yep. We just the sink. The moment we enter water, we start hearing a very stressful okay, that, kind of background um... music playing. Yeah, I should have put on other background music, shouldn't I? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Anyway, that's the combat over, and you won. Uh, you have several unconscious people on the battleground, some yours, some enemy. We're gonna loot all of them. You're beginning to set the thing on fire. On fire. So much fire. Fire. So, fire. I set the halflings on fire. So I chopped the halflings' heads off. So much fire, in fact. And uh, you know what? Boom. We don't need the lighting anymore. So there. Have the uh, complete farm. More! Oh. Yeah. Uh, okay. What do you do now, Ollie? Uh, burn. 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 Uh, Poog remembers. Uh, Poog remembers his namesake and immediately goes to take off the heads of the halflings and the dog. Nice. Fair enough. Yeah. It's in his blood. No. Uh, now he's in their blood. That's okay. They're dead. <laughs> it's in his uh, blood, and now he's in their blood. Mogmerch <laughs> is grabbing a stick. Uh, I'm in their blood. Kind I'm of. Blood. I'm in their blood. Uh. Getting, er, uh, lighting that on fire and is now just going around spreading uh, the fire on the house. Yeah. Burn! Burn! Jeff is going to uh, join in. He's going to actually run up to the uh, still burning alchemist fire on the ground, dip an arrow in it and start shooting for the roof. Yeah. It takes you like two or three arrows, but you eventually hit the roof in a way that sets it ablaze. <laughs> Chuffy never misses. It looks uh, between the between the burning barn, the panicking pigs that are running away, and the delicious smells of the already burned goats who suffocated earlier. Uh, this is quite it's quite a nice image for a goblin. Really, it's like a big picnic. It's a barbecue. Exactly. You still have. There's still it's some right. cake left. There's some buffet. It's a wonderful little wedding. We all start eating the cake off of Chuffy. Yes. Goodbye. Cake time. Cake time. Cake off of cake Chuffy. Time, cake time. Cake time. Cake time. Cake time. I need Chuffy's cake. <laughs> I don't <laughs> stop. I need, you all you gotta eat, eat that cake. You all no. eat the delicious. <laughs> white goblin flavored cake. white frothy cream of Chuffy's body. Stop! <laughs> you started it. You, you did this. You, you did this. It. I was I was just implying that Chuffy is literally covered in cake because he was hiding it. I was implying the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> and what is okay. Chuffy doing caked up on a Saturday afternoon like this? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Or Friday evening, Lather I suppose. Lather Chuffy's creams. Right. Stop it. This is going to awaken some things in Chuffy. <laughs> oh, no. Ooh, I hope it doesn't oh, awake no. anything in Chuffy. <laughs> <laughs> um, Kulgik eventually comes to his senses, wakes up, like, head bloody and, like, bruised. Uh, we her. point and laugh. Yeah, we do. Yeah, that's and fair. And he gets no cake because he's a loser. That's fair. Um, yeah. Okay, that's it for the combat the uh, house is slowly burning down as you i imagine loot the surroundings because that is after all what you're here for you wanted to raid the yeah, farm exactly yeah, we also, yeah 
We also totally spent some time just sitting on a hilltop watching the smoldering uh, embers of the farm. Slowly the, eating. The slowly no, no, we're, yeah. It's what we're doing while we're uh, shoving yeah. cake into our mouth. Eating, eating burnt goat parts dipped in cake. Yes. Cake batter. And chuffy, <laughs> chuffy cake. Chuffy cake. Delicious, delicious chuffy cake. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you some treasure, <laughs> which um, can go in your notes for if we manage to make another one shot. Uh, let's see. Tre Between their wedding attire and gifts, Winnius and Velma have a halfling-sized corset and bridal veil, a black vest, a bow tie, a child's doll, 18... Dibs on the bow tie! Write it down, write it down. Corset, it will be a new hat. 18 cloth, no. 18 cloth diapers. You will go through those in no time, I think. Four jars of moonshine. A bottle of perfume that tastes like flowers. A sewing nice. kit, six shiny white buttons, a fine kitchen knife that counts as a dagger, and two gold rings worth 25 gold each, but you're goblins, so gold doesn't mean a lot to you. Chuffy steals the dagger. However, loaded with sugar, the wedding cake itself is perhaps the greatest treasure of all. Any goblin who consumes a handful of cake as a standard action sees a phenomenal increase in their speed and reflexes as of, as of affected by a haste spell. Oh my god. <laughs> it will last four. <laughs> It'll last four. I'm going to roll for this. It lasts for eight minutes. And after those eight minutes, presumably while you're still watching the burning stuff, you will be fatigued for half an hour. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wait, does that mean that that Chuffy should have been affected by haste through that entire fight because he ate his way from the cake? That's a good point. However, if we say that that's the point, then I have to read the rest of this. A goblin eating a second handful of cake in a day does not gain this benefit, and instead becomes sickened for one d six rounds. So it's probably good that we ignore that. You know what? Fair. Yeah. <laughs> so Chuffy just... Wait a moment. 1d6... Chuffy's tummy is gonna hurt so much when he gets home. Oh, God. Chuffy pukes his guts out for like like for half a minute. Yeah, he does. And then he, and then he quote unquote, does some more cake shots. Of course. All right. Cake. 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 God, I want handfuls of cake now. Not even like four. <laughs> I just want to grab it with my hands and squish it and like eat it out of my oh, mitts. Same. Oh, just gonna, uh, same. There, in case like you whip wanna, up some frosting. In case, oh, in, in case you want to put this in your character notes for next time we play these characters. They have a number of one shots. They actually do level up in between. We did it! You did Bing! it! And let's see. Yeah. You watched the farm burn to its foundations for, I don't know, a few hours, I suppose. You were really fatigued after eating that cake, after all. And then you I want to say we ate as much cake as we could, uh, as we could, and then we shoved all the rest of the cake into every nook and cranny to take it back. Right. I assume you also took the goat parts with you, burnt goats. Oh yeah, wonderful. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, as much as we could carry. Exactly. Okay. Uh, I will of course be riding home on Squealy Nord. Of course, yeah. It's basically your size for sure. My new best friend. Yeah, your new best friend. Yes, your new steed. Now. Mighty steed. Okay, now for the conclusion of the adventure, finally. <laughs> you arrive back at your goblin village that may or may not have a name. I don't remember. I don't think it had. Um, you are greeted by roaring applause. 
applause, sorry, yeah. applause by the rest of the goblin tribe, each and every one of them truly visibly proud of your first real heroic deeds as fellow goblin warriors. They love us. They really love us. Yes. Uh, yes, we're has, real goblins. As you, Poog has immediately let the fame go to his head. Of, <laughs> immediately. It sleeps with all the female goblins and then dies of drug overdose in the toilet. Yeah. Yes. Um, all within the next 30 minutes. Fucking yeah. wild. As you, <laughs> as you regale the rest of the village with your tale of glory and cake and puking a lot and killing the halflings, uh, the chieftain orders uh, two let's say three more raiding parties to go back to the farm and just rip it bare of anything. Because it seems unlikely that anyone will be there for the foreseeable future. So might as well, right? And we probably couldn't carry every single burned goat. Yes, like clearly. And um, the chieftain then invites you into his hut for a more personalized debriefing and a little reward. <gasps> As you follow him in, you see that next to his big chair adorned with bones and leather and assorted other knickknacks that he found in the forest while gallivanting because it's a goblin. You mean treasures? Absolutely. Countless Im invaluable treasures. Like this spoon there. Oh. Ooh, that is a... Ooh, look how shiny it is. You have, in fact... Ooh, that's a good spoon. You see, in fact, right next to the chieftain's very special chair, three slightly smaller, but almost equally special chairs for each of you. <gasps> Holy shit. They're, of course, <sighs> not quite as tall as, the, as Chief Godward's chair, but still, neither are you. So, you know, it all balances out. If Jeffy wasn't now an adult and mature goblin, he would cry a little. <laughs> oh, Mark Birch is in full tears. And with that... Um, sorry? I was going to say, Poog, already having let the fame go to his head, uh, does a line of goblin coke off the chair. <laughs> goblin? Goblin go! <laughs> <laughs> it's just mud! Just my, it's just sand. All right. Oh God! And Snorting sand. With this, no, it's icing sugar. Yeah. Icing sugar from the cake. With, oh no! And with this, you are officially, you are officially in your first level as actual hero, heroic characters. Oh shit! You level up to actual level one with actual classes instead of whatever the fuck you're right now. Ooh, class levels. And you will be well on your Ooh. way to becoming infamous goblin legends in your own right and in your own time. And so we step back from the goblin village over the landscape in the swamp over the broken wagon that you left behind <laughs> after you killed that innocent merchant who didn't even get to say hello to you because you ambushed her. <laughs> Over the uh, counterpoint, if he had gone up to her, would she have just calmly said hello and introduced herself to us? Yes, actually. She would have tried to do the same. Damn, she's that stupid. Over the rotting carcass of the donkey you slew and partially ate. And then the burning remnants, well, smoldering remnants of the burnt farm. We skip back over the clouds, and we might come back to these fucked up little guys eventually. But for right now, this is the end of We Be Four Goblins. Of you all had fun. Yes. Hey. We had a good goblin time.